trigonometry if cosec x plus cot x equal to p prove that cos x equal to p square minus 1 divided by p square plus 1 here it is given that the value of cosec x plus cot x equal to p we have to prove the value of cos x equal to p square minus 1 Whole divided by p square plus one. That is, it is given that cosec x plus cot x equal to p. We have to find the value of cos x. So, in order to proceed further, take cosec x plus cot x equal to p, and the next step. Notice that. We have to change each and every term in the left hand side in the term of cos x in order to get the value of p. So at first we are breaking down cosec x as 1 by sin x and cot x as cos x plus cos x by sin x and by proceeding further we will change the whole terms in left hand side in terms of cos x. Now here sin x the uh, sorry here the sin x is the denominator on both terms. Now by taking LCM we will get one plus cos x whole divided by sin x equal to p. Again multiplying sin x to the right we will get one plus cos x equal to p sin x. So our aim is to Change each and every term here in terms of cos x. Okay, for doing that, we are going to square these terms. Why we are squaring the term is because of this identity. That is, we know that sin square a x equal to one minus cos square x. So we can change each and every term here in terms of cos x. So by squaring on both sides, we will get one plus cos x whole square equal to p into sin x whole square. Now, which is equal to p square sin square x. Now, in the next step, we are changing sin square x in the term of terms of cos x. That is one minus cos square x, which implies one plus cos x whole square equal to p. P square into one minus cos square. Now by simplifying, we will get. Sorry, now by taking each and every term of cos x together, we will get one plus cos x whole square whole divided by one minus cos square x. Now, one minus cos square x can be rewritten as one plus cos x into one minus cos x. Okay. Now, by simplifying, we will get the one plus cos x into one plus cos x will cancel each other, and the term remains here is one plus cos x divided by one minus cos x. So we will sim uh, we will simplify this p square term and again and we will find the value of cos x. So we have uh, the p square equal to this term and now by cancelling each other we will get p square equal to one plus cos x divided by one minus cos x. This is our previous result. Okay. In order to find the value of cos x, at first we are going to multiply this term. That is cross multiplying. We will get p square into one minus cos x equal to one plus cos x. Now multiplying with p square, p square minus p square cos x equal to one plus cos x. So we have to find cos x 
we, we have to find cosec take cosec term to one side therefore p square minus 1 equal to cosec plus p square cosec then cosec c is common to both these terms by taking cosec outside we will get p square minus 1 equal to p square plus 1 into cosec that is by taking cosec i outside 1 will remain here and here p square will remain now which implies cosec equal to p square minus 1 that is this whole divided by p square plus 1 hence we proved our result